blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, to give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak that you've put in my heart to speak. I pray in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I want to tell you about my first rapture dream, a, uh, a most unusual rapture dream. It was full of color and sights and sounds, and I, uh, I even had feelings. Now, I've heard of many other rapture dreams that are highly subjective, and not quite sure what they're really talking about sometimes, but, but my rapture dream was, was like in your face. I mean, it was, it was a, a rapture dream. I mean, I was going home. So it was an actual experience of being raptured. So I begin. I was standing in a field in my dream, a field of grass, and it was nighttime. I looked around me and I saw houses, buildings, and other people, but, but none were very close to me. It seemed uh, normal, for whatever reason, to be standing in this open field in the dark, all alone. All of a sudden, a very brilliant white shaft of light came down from heaven and it enveloped me. Now I could not see outside this shaft of white light. It was like uh, being in one of those beams of light, uh, uh, those World War II searchlights. And it was so brilliant that it, it hurt your eyes. Then instantly I found myself outside this strange shaft of brilliant white light. And I was about, I don't know, 20 feet away from it, maybe 30 feet, somewhere in there. And I was just staring at it. And then I realized that there were other shafts of, of white light coming down to the earth. But for those, it was like instantaneous. They would hit the ground, envelop people, and then shoot straight back up into the sky. I mean, in, in a, in, it was instant. All this happened so fast that if you blinked your eyes at the right time, you would miss the whole event. I saw many shafts of light coming down, enveloping people, and then shoot straight back up. Some were yards away from me, some were like a quarter mile, half mile, some were a mile, two miles away from me, and more. And some were even out on the horizon at the limit of my ability to see. And this happened in front of me, to my right, to my left, and uh, it and it even happened behind me. But I didn't turn around to look. I just I just knew it was happening all around me. Uh, this happened so very fast that that if you looked, you could see a, a slight tracer effect from the shaft of light streaking back into the heavens, and each shaft of light had a person inside of it. I realized that my rapture experience for me was slowed way way down while everyone else's was happening in real time right before my very eyes but my rapture experience was very very slow all of these streaks of light had a tracer effect and it was an awesome sight to see all of these streaks of light flashing back up into the sky then all of a sudden I found myself back inside my shaft of white light and I was alone. I looked up in the shaft of white light and I saw Jesus and he was not coming down to me he was actually going up he was ascending and I held my hands up to heaven and I cried out Jesus Jesus please please don't leave me and I was I was desperate Jesus stopped and he slowly came back down to me. Now he was wearing a, a brilliant white robe with a sash, but for some reason, I don't remember the color. He had on sandals on his feet. He had shoulder length, uh, kind of a dark blonde colored hair. But his eyes, I will never forget his eyes. They were a piercing and they were like a steel blue greenish color. As he came down to me, he placed his arms around me the one who made the whole universe held me in his arms. 
And then I looked into the eyes of God. Now Jesus, he never spoke a word. But, it, but his eyes spoke volumes to me. I saw love. Unimaginable, unbelievable, unexplainable love that exceeds any understanding or comprehension of love. I saw an ocean of love that had no depth, no width, and no breadth thereof. I found joy unspeakable. At the instant Jesus wrapped his arms around me, I felt transformed. I felt a transformation take place. I felt renewed like I had a new body. Somehow I felt the same, but I felt different. Like I was brand new, no aches or pains. It was as everything in my body was brand new. I felt young again. But I was so intent on feeling the pure love of Jesus being held in his arms, it just dulled everything else. I saw unimaginable love in the eyes of Jesus. But his eyes said something else to me. And what I saw in his eyes was, I have missed you so very, very much. Welcome home. Now, if that don't bring tears to your eyes. I was finally going home. Back home, where I came from. Back home, where I belonged, but I forgot. Home, a place familiar. Not strange or foreign, but home. A place you love, feel safe and comfortable. A place called home. In heaven there is no sin, and better than that there's not even a word for sin. All of this changed my life, this changed everything, as now I knew I would spend the rest of my life on this earth, doing whatever it would take to get back into the arms of Jesus again. Where I belong, and where you belong as well. As to feel that love, and the power of that love was amazing, and it was life changing. I was truly changed in the arms of Jesus. Now I wrote a book about this experience and it's called In the Twinkling of an Eye. And I feel that this book was so important that I have a link to uh, where you can order it from Amazon below where it says more. And by ordering this book from M Amazon, you help support this ministry in mailing out free Bibles, books, CDs, literature, and also, if you cannot afford this book, I will send it to you for free. Just re make a request in uh, writing or via email. And also, I have another book titled, God Showed Me the Future. And I know you probably think I'm hawking these books, but actually, if you ask for one, I'll send you one for free. So. If you can afford it, I would appreciate you, you buying one from Amazon because it, it helps support the ministry. And there are signs everywhere. And the signs say we are going home very soon. Always remember that you are a precious child of the most high living God who loves you and who treasures you above all the gold of the earth and above all the stars of heaven. And Bobby and I, we love and treasure you as well. I know these are very trying times for many, but always remember, our race is almost over, and one day soon you will find yourself enveloped in your own brilliant shaft of white light, and you will be on your way home as well. You are God's gift to me and Bobby, and we thank God every day for sending you to us. With much love and more grace from above. Love you all, and we keep you in our prayers. God bless you, and God keep you in yours, in His loving arms, just like He held me, just like He held me. We love you all so very much. God bless you, and God keep you. Amen.